All right, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at how to load games onto Playnight. Um, if you get PC games through a retro game drive, uh, you may want to add additional games yourself, or if you're just looking to use Playnight uh, to load games that it doesn't automatically scan, you can you can use this as a tutorial for that as well. Uh, so first thing you're going to do is obviously open Playnight. Uh, here we have an empty installation, no games loaded. You're going to click here and click Add Game, uh, and you can do Scan Automatically. And what this will do is it'll give you the option to detect installed, scan a folder, or uh, browse to a specific executable. Um, so what scanning a folder does, uh, it can be a little tricky because a lot of, a lot of times if you are getting pre-installed Steam games, for example, there will be multiple executables and you kind of have to sift through those. Um, so if you're wanting to add one by one, uh, I think that's the, uh, the easiest option. So you're going to go to browse here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go to our folder where we have our pre-installed games. Uh, we'll just select one here. Um, oftentimes, you'll have a, uh, a readme or something like that that will tell you which executable to run. In this case, uh, I know that it's just this one here, and we're going to click Open. And now, uh, this is a little confusing, uh, because you, you can do this multiple times. We'll actually do this again. Uh, we'll go here to Pre-installed. Uh, we'll go here, and we'll, we'll grab... Uh, we'll grab this executable as well. Uh, so now we have these two games. Um, if you hit Add Games, it'll just close this window and not add anything. Uh, so what you have to do is you have to select all of them. I will typically just click this Select All here, or you can go through and select them individually. Uh, but once you've done that, all you have to do is click Add Games. Um, it's going to scan and try to load the information like that. Um, and you can see that uh, that it has pulled the information for these um, and the metadata, screenshots, cover arts, all that stuff. Um, if you want to load an entire folder, uh, you can do that. Let's actually remove these two that we just added and then go here, scan automatically, scan folder. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're just going to take our whole pre-installed folder here and select that. So what this is going to do is it's the same thing, as it's, but it's just scanning for any executable that might uh, might be a game that we want to, to import. And we'll just give that a, a second to run here. And you'll see that we have uh, every executable that was found. And so this is why I said this is kind of confusing. Uh, but you can go through here and... Uh, select the ones that you you want, uh, just like we did before. Um, obviously, we have a bunch of Microsoft redistributables and uh, OpenAL installers and all that stuff. We don't want to uh, do those, and you'll see some that are just called The Witcher Three, all the way all the way down the line. Uh, but you can look over here at you'll see this is the DirectX 12 version of The Witcher Three. This is just The Witcher Three EXE. Um, so we probably want to select that one. Um, and, and we can just go down the list there. And once you select the ones that you want, same thing as before, uh, you can just add those games. It'll download the metadata, and you'll see we have our information here, all good to go. Uh, however, this one here, because the name of the executable was not something that it, it recognized, you'll see that it didn't scrape anything. So if you select this game and hit this little pencil here, uh, what you can do is you can do, uh, this is Dragon Ball Sparking. Let's see if it'll find it with that. And you can just click Download Metadata. Just type in the name, Download Metadata, IGDB. It's going to search. And then it's going to give you options. So I know this is Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, so I can click that, hit Select. Uh, you can have it rename it, which we do want that. And then now it has all the metadata here. I hit save, and now we have our images, our metadata, and whatnot all set up. Um, so that is pretty much the process for importing games. Um, you can do this as many times as you want from any directory that you want and uh, get your whole collection inside of Play Night.